All right, Shalom, Brother Rock, coming to you another video. Before I move forward, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakak Wadash, double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone for teaching us 100% truth according to the Bible and who rule well, and a double Shalom to all the Akim out there pushing the truth and truth and sincerity regardless of whom here forbears. And I want to get out this precept here, and I'm going to make a point. But when you read 1 Samuel 9 and 9, it says, Before time in Israel, when a man went to inquire of the Most High, thus he spoke, Come and let us go to the seer. For he that is now called a prophet was before time called a seer. So what does that tell you? We knew as a nation of Israel that the Lord revealed his secrets into certain men that he set up, who he ordained. All right. And when you read the scriptures, um, matter of fact, I'm going to jump back, but let me uh, go into Malachi 3 and 6. Okay. For I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. So, what does that tell you? The Lord still has the same order, man. He does the same thing in, in, in these times, man. Same thing he did in ancient times. We set up, you know, men. Uh, that he ordained and he uh, gave the spirit of prophecy to that will prophesy to the nation of Israel and give Israel direction on what to do to get right. The same thing he's doing in these times, man. All right, the Lord doesn't change. We just read that, Malachi 3 and 6. For I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore, you sons of Jacob are not consumed. So going back to 1 Samuel 9 and 9, it says, Before time in Israel, when a man went to inquire of the Most High, thus he spoke, saying, so like the dusty spoke, come and let us go to the seers. For he that is now called a prophet was before time called a seer. Isn't that what we're supposed to be doing as a nation uh, of people? We're supposed to be coming back to our nationality, you know, first and foremost, repenting, um, being converted, you know, and, and the way to do that is to inquire through the true men the Lord set up. Okay. When you read Amos uh, chapter three. Uh, verse 7, it says, Surely the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, will do nothing. Okay? But he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. Okay? Hey, and that secret is going to have a lot of messages, man, of prophecy, the things that's about to take place that everyone else can't break down. Only the prophets can break them down, man. And which we know and believe the true prophets are the apostles and elders of Great Millstone on down. That's This is the only... Uh, the only way to be able to get breakdowns and understanding, man, the only way, okay, is through the, the specific men the Lord set up. Now, when you read uh, Jeremiah 3 and 15, just to back up what I just said through the spirit, and I will give you pastors according to mine heart, which that word heart goes back to the Hebrew word lab, which means your mind, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. So Lord, has, he's never changed. He's always going to give you certain men that you got to go to to get the answers, man. That you got to go to to for, for secrets to be revealed. So why would it be different in these times? It's no different in these times, man. Okay? Um, and, and these men are going to have the 100% truth. All right, case in point. 1 John 2 and 20. But ye have an unction from the Holy One, and ye know all things. Like the scriptures say, for we know in part and we prophesy in part. So in this segment time that we living in, Okay, 2020 year prophecy. Okay, uh, uh, since Abba Bivens, you know, uh, Elder Abba Bivens has been on the scene, uh, I believe in, in, in the 60s, late 60s, up until this point in time, man, and until our Lord comes back, there's men who have the 100% truth in this point in time, man, who know everything that's going on uh, for, this, for this prophecy of, of, of this segment of time that we're living in, man. Okay? Why? Because the Lord ain't going to set up somebody who don't got 100% truth, okay? That that he chose to give uh, wisdom and understanding to his people, all right? Now, I want to bring out a couple of more precepts. All right, let me see something right quick here. Uh, Isaiah chapter 8, verse 20. It says, to the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. All right, so the, this is how another way you can find out if a man was set up by Yahweh by Shemiah was shy because he's going to be speaking 100% truth according to the Bible. He's not going to go off his own vain thoughts. 
He's not going to uh, go out, go astray from the doctrine. Everything that he's going to say, he can be able to back it up in the scriptures. Okay? And that's the one thing, that's a, one of many things that our, our apostles and elders stress on, man. That we always bring out, this, bring out the, the precepts, bring out the word, man. Let the word speak and back up what we say through the power of spirit of Yahweh Now, like the last part says, it says, it is because there is no light in them. So if you got if you got a pro, a, a so-called prophet who who's bringing out ninety five percent of the truth, but then the other five percent is tainted, like the scriptures say, a little uh, leaven leaveneth the whole lump. So if it's tainted only by one percent or any point zero one percent, you know it's it's not a hundred percent truth. So if you got some people telling you the nation that you are the nation of Israel, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. You know, they're prophesying and Jacob's trouble, things of that nature. But then they say that the mark of the beast is a spiritual uh, mark or it's embargo. Then they just tainted the whole doctrine, man. But then, you you know, that's why you have to follow the men who have the 100 percent truth according to the Bible. And you got to go to them, man. There's no other way. All right. For you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. OK, Isaiah 55 and 6. It says, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. And when we read Amos 3 and 7, it said, The Lord um, will do nothing, but he revealeth his secrets unto the servants, the prophets, which is how he's going to be found. All right? The Lord is found through his men. The Lord's not going to come off his throne or crack the skies and start prophesying, man, when he, he's always done it through men. Just like we read um, when, when the uh, prophets were called seers in ancient times, man. Okay? It says, Call ye upon him while he is near. All right, and those same men the Lord set up, who's giving you uh, understanding that the Lord set up. Hey, they found they're found now, man. You can go on YouTube. We out we out in the streets on the highways and byways, in season, out season, week in, week out, prophesying. You know, all that's going to be cut short soon, man. And you can tell through the Spirit because of the end time prophecies, man. The Lord's going to shut this word down, man. Okay, it says verse seven: Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him and to our power, for he will abundantly pardon. And what is he going to abundantly pardon? Your sins. But you got to repent, be converted. And the only way to understand how that works is you have to seek the men of the Lord, the, the men the Lord set up, who have the secrets, man. All right. This is a matter of fact. Let me let me get this precept here, man, because uh, the Lord works. Uh, he's very particular on how he does things, man. Okay. Uh, the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 40. It says, let all things be done decently and in order. All right. The, the Lord has always been in order with how he reveals things, man. And he's going to do it through his prophets. And we just read, the Lord changed not, man. You know, do I need to bring that out again? Just make sure I'm going to bring that out again. Uh, Malachi 3 and 6. For I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. So the Lord is going to always do things in a particular order. Okay. Now, when you read Jeremiah chapter 28, verse 8, it says the prophets, which were also known as the seers in ancient times, who prophets, uh, the word prophecy means to tell you before. So the Lord gave ordained men the spirit to be able to prophesy to tell you the things that's about to take place using the, the Bible as a source man it says the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms okay and that's how another way you can recognize the prophet too is going to be prophesying against the, the wicked rulership in place man which this current ru wicked rulership is, is America man Ran by the the earth is uh, the um, earth was given into the hands of the wicked, so Esau, Edom, the so-called white people, have the rulership seat that's about to be taken away from them, and we're prophesying that it's about to come soon. It says, and against uh, great kingdoms, okay, America's a great kingdom, right? We're prophesying against it. It says of war, which World War Three is going to take place, civil unrest, which is happening now, is going to turn up, race riots, it's about to take place. It says, end of evil. Are right, we living in some uh, deadly serious times? Okay, uh, people are out without jobs. People are homeless. You know, people are starving. You know, uh, not just here in America, across the four corners of the earth, man. 
You know, you got a lot of uh, violence going on, especially with the civil unrest going on with the uh, uproars of the people. Okay, but you know, through the power of Spirit, how about Shmuel Shai? This message has been has been pushed out. Uh, you know, in this uh, point of time, man, since Abba Div has been on the scene, man, late sixties. Okay, it says and of pestilence, meaning diseases. So much diseases going on right now, man. All right, which the prophets are telling you of, man, through. Uh, the, the spirit of the Lord The Lord has been given the prophets the spirit To be able to speak of these things man Which are secrets man Alright that he revealed unto the prophets It says verse 9 The prophet which prophesieth of peace Okay when the word of the prophet shall come to pass Then shall the prophet be known That the Lord hath truly sent him Alright so it's going to be revealed Okay everyone's going to know exactly You know who the Lord was dealing with You know based off of you know, the things is going to be taking place, man. All right? Because the true prophet is going to speak 100% according to the Bible. Like, for example, um, you know, we're preaching, you know, which our apostles have been preaching for a long time, that the mark of the beast is the RFID chip. All right? It's being revealed, you know, for many uh, that the RFID chip is the mark of the beast. So many people are starting to see who the true men are. And we're not bragging. We're just telling you that it's a fact, man. You know, we're humbly saying, we're humbly saying that, man. Okay? But for those who are prophesying of peace and there's no Jacob's trouble, things of that nature, it's trying to be revealed who the true prophets are, man. Okay? Why? Because they're speaking, thus said the Lord, thus said the Bible, you know? Okay, now I'm going um, to bring out this last precept and I'm going to close out. Um, let's see, Ezekiel 2 and 5, it says, And they, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, for they are a rebellious house. Speaking to the nation of Israel, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, majority of our people are truly a rebellious house, man. They're doing everything to fight tooth and nail against Yahweh Bashem Shai. But of course, they're not going to win. It says, yet shall know that there have been a prophet among them. How are they going to know that there was a prophet among them? Because all the secrets that the Lord revealed to the prophets, that the prophets was preaching out there on the highways and byways for years. Again, starting with Abba Bivens, you know, uh, high priest um, Yaquab. High priest uh, Ariyah, um, high priest Ariyah, um, uh, King Masha, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, Apostle Tahar on down, man. Okay, telling you that all these things are gonna get ready to take place. You know, prophesying against America, speaking one hundred percent true. But it's gonna come a point in time where it's gonna be too late for for majority of our people, man. But then they're gonna know that it was a prophet among them the whole time, telling them exactly what the secrets were. So you have a zeal to you, and you know you're an Israelite, all right, and you truly believe in the God of the Bible. Hey, take heed to the true service of prophets, you know, starting with the apostles and elders of Great Millstone on down, so you can, you know, Lord willing, receive salvation. We're all trying to fight for salvation, you know. So with that being said, before I close out, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone for teaching us 100% truth according to the Bible and who rule well. And a double shalom to all the Akim out there pushing the truth and truth and sincerity. Shalom.